Now at five, it's a case that became an international sensation. Now, more than seven years after being charged, one of two teenagers sentenced in the slender man stabbing is set to go free. A judge granted Anissa Wires conditional release after she served four years at the Winnebago Mental Health Institute. Bruce Harrison is live with the latest on Wires release. Bruce. Charles, good evening. I'm at David's Park in Waukesha, not too far from where I'm standing. There was a wooded area where Anissa Wire and her friend Morgan Geyser brutally attacked Peyton Leitner some seven years ago. And this area, Charles, this is one of the areas that she, Anissa Wire, will not be able to visit under the conditions of her release. She's monitored and she's got restrictions and, you know, she's surely she'll try, hopefully, you know, hopefully she'll try to um, go in the right direction. Sarah Reddy lives just across the street from David's Park, where the attack took place in 2014. They're giving her everything to to make the right decisions. Wire was just 12 when she and her friend Morgan Geyser lured Peyton Leitner to the woods in Waukesha, where Wire encouraged Geyser to stab Leitner in order to please the fictional character Slenderman. Now 19 years old, Anissa Wire will have assistance and restrictions on the outside. Those include a case manager to monitor medication for psychiatric care, monitored internet use, no social media, and no contact with the victim or her family. Waukesha police say Wire's movement will also be restricted by 24-7 GPS monitoring. If she goes too close to the victim's home, workplace, or location of the attack, it will trigger an alert and police will pick her up for violating the terms of her release. The court decided, based on mental health reviews, that Wire could leave. Juvenile court judge Ashley Wilcott has been following the case closely since the beginning. The judge said, listen, Regardless of how long it has or hasn't been, she, under these conditions, will not be a threat to society, will not be a threat to herself, and will not be a threat to the victim. From a legal perspective, Wilcott believes rehabilitation for a juvenile is the justice system working, but she understands others may feel differently. It feels like, how can that be just when my daughter almost died? So for the family, for the victim, I cannot imagine it feels just. And Charles, a spokesman for the family of Peyton Leitner, told us today that the family's disappointed. Wire is already being released considering the length of her sentence. That spokesperson also said that today Peyton Leitner is doing very well as a college sophomore and that, you know, it's been challenging, but she has a bright future ahead. Reporting live in Waukesha, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. Yep, challenging seven years for all families involved. Thank you. Here's a timeline of events in this story that gained national notoriety. The crime happened in May of 2014 in a wooded area in Waukesha when all the girls involved were just 12 years old. Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser, Geyser were taken into custody and were charged days later as their injured classmate, Peyton Leitner, fought to recover from that attack. Three years later, after pleading guilty to a lesser charge, a jury found Wire not guilty by mental disease or defect. She was ordered to serve 25 years at the Winnebago Mental Health Institute. Geyser was convicted but found not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect. She was sentenced to 40 years at that same facility.